This video will give you tips on how to answer the three mark explain questions on the Edexcel IGCSE business papers. And this video will also include two exemplar three mark questions and answers. The explain questions are typically worded as follows. Explain one way. Explain one method. Explain one advantage. Explain one disadvantage. Explain one purpose. Explain one impact. Do check out these videos. I'll put the link to them in the description box. Now for the three mark questions, you need to first of all identify a relevant factor. So whether that's a benefit, a drawback, a purpose, you need to identify it. And that will give you one mark. Then the further two marks are required for you to develop and explain the points. Do not list your points. They should be developed. So consider one mark for each strand. When it comes to the three mark explain questions, explain one questions, no context is required. Some students tend to put examples in there to bump up and expand on their answer. Do not do that. The examiners are not looking for that. There's not a case study connected to the three mark explain one question. So do not try and apply to context. They just want you to identify the point and develop it. Now, if you attempt to list your points, then you lose out on marks. Let's take a look at our first example. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Explain one advantage of being a sole trader. Sole traders are able to make their own decisions. This means they can run the business how they choose to without having to consult with anyone making decisions. Now, we've identified the point that sole traders are able to make their own decisions and we've developed on that by using connectors such as this means. Let's take a look at another example. Explain one disadvantage of being a sole trader. One disadvantage is that there is a risk of unlimited liability. This means if the business has debts and fails, the business owner is responsible for all of the debts of the business and may lose their personal possessions. So again, you could see that we've identified the point in the first sentence. The disadvantage is that there's a risk of unlimited liability and we further developed the points and that will give you three marks. Thank you for watching this video. The next two videos that will appear on the screen are what YouTube thinks you should watch next.